Good morning, mighty redbirds. We hope you had a rocking week in the forest. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Bethany. We've been really busy reading on literacy footprints these days. Can you believe that we beat our school group by over 3,000 books? We read over 5,000 books as a school. Wow. Let's learn some more about the results from Colin. Hey there, readers. Congratulations to all the prize winners announced from last week. Are you excited to hear the details about more winners? Let's dive into it. Congratulations to all these winners who won $10 towards a book of their choice. Way to go! Great jobs to all the classes who came out on top for reading the most of books. These were our winners for the choice board drawings. Congratulations! You read, then it took you one step further to share about what you learned. And last but not least, let's celebrate all your hard work and creativity with the, these choice board activities. Here are a few amazing projects. Perfect. Nice work, Mighty Red Birds. Keep on reading. Did you know that in the month of February, we celebrate Black History Month? To celebrate, we have a challenge for you. Two mystery guests are going to give you clues about who they are. So listen really closely to figure it out. I'm your first mystery guest. Are you ready? You better get your thinking caps on. During my first year as a head football coach for a high school in Virginia, my team went 13 and 0, and we won the Virginia State title. I'll even give you a hint. The high school was located in Alexandria, Virginia. My story was even the inspiration for a famous movie. I said I'm inspired both African Americans and whites to work together. A person's race doesn't matter. What matters is working together towards a common goal of mutual respect. I bet you can't guess who I am. I am the second mystery guest for Black History Month. Are you ready to hear my clues? I'm going to stump you. I bet you didn't know that I started a girls-only school located in Africa, and I've produced and acted in over 80 movies and TV shows. Can you believe the former president, Barack Obama, awarded me the Presidential Award of Freedom? Yeah, he sure did. Good luck trying to guess who I am. Hmm, I wonder who those mystery people are. As a class, make your best guesses and have your teacher submit to Google form. The answers will be revealed next Friday. Also, this weekend is Valentine's Day. Let's listen to a funny Valentine's Day poem. We hope you enjoy it. Birds. I have a poem for you guys. My good friend Bethany invited me to read it to you. Oh, and by the way, my name's Purple Monster. And if you want to shorten it a bit, just call me Monster. All right. My poem is about Valentine's Day. Okay, here we go. Red birds are red. My nose is blue. Cookies are sweet. And so are you. That was the entire poem. I hope you liked it. I certainly did. And so did Bethany. All right. Bye. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Keep working hard, give it all you got, and do your best. It's the Cardinal Forest Way. Have a loving and nice long three-day weekend. Bye!